Hey everyone, it's Marie here, and it's time for another episode of What's in My Drawers. So last time um, I did a little What's in My Drawers tour of my little craft cart over here, and today I want to do a new video featuring this storage box from scrapbook.com. So here it is, here is my storage box. Now, I did a little unboxing video when I first got this and I gave you guys a sneak peek. I filled it up with a bunch of things and I kind of did a little bit of um, personalization on here using my Cricut. So I just want to give you a closer look at the drawers and what's in them. So let's take a look at what's in my drawers. Okay, so I think it's easiest to show you over here at my desk. Um, so I have this drawer box from scrapbook.com and it's got four drawers in here. Now this is part of their basic craft room essentials. This is their new four drawer storage unit. But I wanted to add some personalized icons on here of what I've had in my drawer. So these will make sense to you as I show you what's in each of these drawers. So the drawers do tug out a little bit um, hard. You have to give them kind of a little tug to get them out. But I actually kind of like that because now um, I don't have to worry about the drawers falling out. I move this around frequently because now what I'm using it for is for all of my mailing supplies. One thing I want to do in this next coming year is challenge myself to mail out more of the cards that I make. I make so many cards and then I forget to mail them out. And I think having all of my mailing supplies in one spot is going to be helpful for me to encourage me to get more cards in the mail. So, my first drawer here, you can see I've got my little Cricut um, icon here, and this is for my wax seals. Now I've uh, got a small wax seal collection here and you can see this works perfectly for my big seals. I've got some little ones here and my little melting spoon. Um, this part works really great for these sticks that actually fit into your hot glue gun. So I haven't tried it yet but I'm excited to try those out. I've got the little beads here that will melt in your spoon and I've got some seals that are ready made and I just have them organized in there. Now with this drawer organizer, you have four drawers, but only the top one is divided out like this one. So there's only one drawer that's got the divides. So I put all of my wax seal things in here because I liked this divided area for my wax and my wax beads. It just works really great for what I need it to work for. So my next drawer here, you can see I've got this little envelope icon here because this is full of all of my envelopes. I've got some A2 size envelopes, I've got some A6 envelopes, and I've got some envelopes for my A10 size cards. Now my A6 envelopes I use with regular A2 size cards. They're just a little bit larger than the A2 envelopes and I find they work really well. If I have a card that's a little bit more bulky, it's got some foam tape on some embellishments on it and it just works really great for that. I've also got some of my Happy Mail stickers, which if you haven't seen already, over at my blog, I have a free download for you to download these Happy Mail stickers, print them onto some sticker paper, cut them out, and you can add them to the back of your envelopes if you want. I've also got my roll of stamps here, so I've got everything I need to get my cards in the mail. Now, my third drawer here, I'm gonna give it a little tug. I've got my little, um, feather pen icon here because I've got my pens in here. I've got some of my glass calligraphy pens, which I use a little bit more for photo props than I actually use for calligraphy. Um, I would love to take the time to practice with them and practice my handwriting, but I don't always have that time. I've got some of my Heidi Swap inks that go with the glass pen. They fit perfectly in here. They're just the right height if I lay them down. Um, and I also have a stamp block because if you like to kind of spice up your envelopes before you mail them, uh, scrapbook.com has this little stamp set here. Um, they have a cards for kindness um, operation, uh, I guess is what you would call it, where they take your handmade cards 
and then they send them to people who might need some encouragement. So you can go check that out at their website. They have a few stamp sets that go with that initiative as well. This is one that goes really well on the back of your card. You can stamp that little barcode, you can stamp um, made with kindness. And so I have that right here in my drawer so I can stamp it on the back of my envelopes and then mail them out. Now my last drawer down here is just full of inks. You can see I have my little um, stamp icon here. Uh, I couldn't find a really great icon for inks. <laughs> so I just used the stamp icon. Um, so my last drawer here has this little stamp icon because it's full of my inks that I can use for stamping. Um, like I mentioned, I can stamp on the back of my envelopes, um, and these are all Nouveau inks, but I can show you if you don't want to use this as sort of a mail supply box, you can use this to store your inks. So these are the little, I think, 2x2 two two or 1 inch square cubes, can't remember, but they're the basics, mini cube size. And I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 32 stamp um, ink cubes, 32 ink cubes in this drawer. So you could do like 32 times 3, 3, 6, 9, 2, 4, 6, 96. You can get 96 ink cubes in these three drawers. Like I said, that's just what I have in my drawers. Um, hopefully this gives you a great look at just um, how you can organize some things with this little drawer box. Um, and you can, you can personalize it. I just cut out some little vinyl stickers here for each of the drawers. You can cut out um, words. You can label it with your label machine. Anything you want to do. Um, and it's a great box for storing things. And I love that I can carry it around wherever I want to write my cards and have all my supplies where I need them. Anyway, so thanks for joining me for What's in Your Drawers, um, and I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to check out the description box below for all of the links to things that I've mentioned today. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, just do all the things, and I'll catch you guys next time.